welcome to the live broadcast of Rocket Lab's 12th Electron mission, Don't Stop Me Now. Today's mission is a rideshare launch to low Earth orbit for NASA, the National Reconnaissance Office, and the University of New South Wales Canberra Space. One of the satellites on board today is the NASA Andesite Satellite. This payload has been created by students and professors at Boston University to study the Earth's magnetic field as part of NASA's CubeSat, CubeSat launch initiative. PLS flight on mission. PLS copies. Please disable anti-geysering and confirm. Anti-geysering disabled. Stage 1 confirmed. Stage 1 tanks pressed. Stage 1 is pressed. Stage 2 confirmed. Stage 2 tanks pressed. Stage 2 is pressed. And your projective. Daily shining. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vehicles get back. Five seconds into flight, we're coming up to one of the first milestones of any mission to space, passing max Q. This is the point at which Electron will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic force on its way to orbit. Let's coming up on maximum dynamic pressure. Pass through max Q. Entering burnout to tech mode. AOS Chatham Station. Coming up next is main engine cutoff, or MECO, which occurs when the nine Rutherford engines shut down after exhausting their fuel reserves. Upon shutdown, the empty stage is jettisoned so that stage two can, ig can ignite and continue on its journey to low Earth orbit. Altitude is 50 kilometers, speed is 1.6 kilometers per second. 10 seconds to staging. MECO confirmed. Stage 2 ignition confirmed. And there it is on your screen. The fairing has separated clearing away for payload deployment, which occurs approximately one hour after the nominal. For the next few minutes, we'll be hearing the word nominal quite a bit. The latest call was from Kevin Garcia, our Stage 2 operator. And it's one of our favorite words at Rocket Lab, and it simply means everything is going as expected throughout the flight. For the next few minutes, you'll be hearing the word nominal quite a bit. The latest call was from Kevin Garcia, our Stage 2 operator. It's one of our favorite words at Rocket Lab, and it simply means everything is going as expected throughout the flight. On your left, you'll see a view of the operators in the mission control room. These are the people you've been listening to throughout the broadcast on the mission control net, and they're monitoring all things launch related from propulsion and telemetry data all the way through to our network traffic. We've heard plenty of updates from George Buchanan, our GNC operator today. The Rocket Lab GNC team are actively recruiting for senior roles in our photon satellite program. So if you have a solid background in mathematics or physics, head to our career section at rocketlabusa.com for more info. 250 seconds remaining. HVD battery discharge nominal. Approach your hot spot. Struggling down. Stage 2 proportion remains nominal. Up next is the battery hot swap. This step is unique to Electron and its battery-powered pumps housed within the Rutherford engines. The pair of batteries that carried us thus far are nearing depletion, so to finish the job, we swap power over to a third fully charged battery. Let's wait for confirmation from Mission Control. If you're just joining us, we've had successful liftoff of Rocket Lab's Don't Stop Me Now mission aboard our Electron launch vehicle. We are nearing second engine cutoff with kick stage separation scheduled in about a minute and a half. While on this mission, the kick stage is being used in its most basic form to deploy our customer payloads to orbit. However, the kick stage can be adapted to become a satellite in its own right. With the addition of elements like higher performance propulsion, radiation tolerant components, and solar panels, the kick stage becomes Photon, Rocket Lab's in-house designed, built, and operated satellite. 
Keep an eye out for our first photon mission coming soon. Seco confirmed. As you've just heard, we've had successful battery hot swap. Electro Electron's trajectory continues to look nominal as we hit six minutes and 50 seconds into this mission. Stage two propulsion holding nominal. If you're just joining us, we've had successful liftoff of Rocket Lab's Don't Stop Me Now mission aboard our Electron launch vehicle. We are nearing second engine cutoff with kick stage separation scheduled in about a minute and a half. While on this mission, the kick stage is being used in its most basic form to deploy our customer payloads to orbit. However, the kick stage can be adapted to become a satellite in its own right. With the addition of elements like higher performance propulsion, radiation tolerant components, and solar panels, the kick stage becomes Photon, Rocket Lab's in-house designed, built, and operated satellite. Keep an eye out for our first photon GD mission coming soon. The next major milestone you'll hear is SECO, or second engine cutoff. This marks the end of the second stage burn, after, with, after which the kick stage will separate in preparation for payload deployment. 40 seconds remaining. Intent burn out to take mode. Guidance is in two Seconds remaining. Seco confirmed. State separation confirmed. And we're going to transfer. And there you have it, the kick stage is on its way to deliver the payloads to their individual orbits. For those of you who might be wondering what the kick stage is, here's a quick explanation of how this ingenious machine works to deploy payloads to orbit. Once the second stage take us, takes us to an elliptical parking orbit, the kick stage separates and ignites its 3D printed Curie engine circularizing the orbit. Using a cold gas reaction control system, the kick stage accurately orients itself to deploy each satellite to a specific orbit. Using this system, the kick stage is able to insert its payloads with precise orbits, even on rideshare missions with multiple satellites like this one. After deployment, the Curie engine reignites, propelling the kick stage to a lower orbit where it will be dragged into the Earth's atmosphere at a much faster rate, leaving behind nothing in orbit but our customer's satellites. Payload deployment is expected in the next hour or so, and we'll share confirmation on our Rocket Lab Twitter and Facebook accounts when we can. A final thank you to all of the small satellite operators on board this 12th Electron mission for choosing Rocket Lab as your mission partner. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you again here soon. I'm Max Muncy, and until next time, this is Rocket Lab Mission Control signing off.